여러분 안녕하세요. 여러분 안녕하세요. Everyone, hello. Okay, welcome to the first episode of Korean Talk. And I decided really to come up with a video para sa inyo ha. Because I know as I went over your papers, I realized that you have common mistakes when it comes to writing Hangul, Korean alphabet. So, of course, class magsuwat na Hangul, there are rules that we have to follow. And just like you, I was also in a situation where I really like had this, these mistakes as well before. And the thing is, kinahang lang natuwa siyang incorrect, no? So, this, um, today, I really decided baka mag, mag take ko a video para sa inyo, ha? So, magbisaya lang ko, and at the same time, mag English. So, either, para magkasinabot yung taninyo when it comes to how should you guys uh, write Hangul, and kani ibasa din ako sa inyong mga outputs since I was checking papers and I noticed na nagin mo mga common mistakes no so we have to, I have to correct it kinahanglan ma ma address ang mga issues para po uh, sa umaabot I believe that kapagit mo mga writing activities or mga reading activities sa ato ang subject which is Korean language and dili kwa ding uh, um, ang ato ang mga sayup dili na to makorehian no we cannot correct our own mistakes para inigam abut na ta sa higher level or let's say mga other units in the future dili na kaayo mo maglisod in a sense na ang inyuhang mga problema or mga sayup atong gianang inanam o correct okay so um, base sa ako ang pan check Na ay unong kabog. There are six that I notice na basically commonly yun na ato ang ato ang makumit as errors. So basically kinahangla na akong i-correct. Okay? So unsa man ni unong kabog, maguna ta sa primero. So the first one in writing giok. So you know, iba kay bawo mata class, unsa ni ang giok? Giok it's written this way. So it's written in one, one uh, syllable, a uh, one stroke only. Rather, okay, you also have an idea, and you are very much aware that in writing Korean alphabet, nasa tayong mga strokes na ay natong ifalo. So di ko pwede class na kung whichever lang po no ang linya na yung ganahang write or execute first, then mauna na siya. No, so there are proper strokes that you we have to follow. So the first is gyo. Now in writing gyo, we have to remember that uh, this is composed of only one stroke, and you're pretty much aware of that. So of course it's written this way. No? This is how it's written. Okay, so pasensya na lang kung dilit sa kaisa ng straight ang ako ang maghatag ng model sa board. But when you write it, kung kamo magsuwat kinhang lang straight ha, dili pwede nga kanang magdali-dali bitaw tag suwat because the tendency is if magdali-dali kung suwat ang nahitabo, of course magkahiwi-hiwi and dili na siya ma-execute og tar tarong. And one thing that is um, really important principle that you remember in writing Hangul is that we know nga uh, we write it by syllable and when we write it, we have to make sure that we can imagine an imaginary square where this syllable really fit, uh, fits in. So, kinahanglan balance yun ang atong consonant o ang atong ang vowel. Okay? So, if write ato sa giyok, this is how giyok is written. And it is, of course, composed of one stroke. Okay, so this is what you see on the copies, right? Uh, however, na ay duha ka execution when writing gyo okay so the first is um kinahanglan natong i-consider if unsa ang iyang partner if the partner nato siya of vertical vowel or horizontal vowel and if you want sa mo class so unsa ning vertical vowel or unsa ning horizontal vowel okay so this is gyo 
what if si Diok ato siyang partneran o horizontal vowel? So, we are going to write it the same way as is, okay? So, for example, plus na to o horizontal vowel, which is the u, okay, u na horizontal vowel like that. So, we are going to write it this way, okay? The same rang execution ni sa angkio, okay? We are going to write it just like that. Okay, I'm sorry, kay hiwik sa gayo, but uh, just remind you that when you write it, kinahanglan ha straight you. Okay, so one stroke ka siya, so you are going to have it like that. But definitely, this is only one stroke. Okay, so this one, and then you're going to write um, this one here. Okay, as you notice that kukayo ang ato characters, um, I really make sure nga dagkuo na ito so para maklaro din sa video so basically class dagkuo siya pero kung sa inyong paper di po palabanan din pa dagkuo depende sa square na inyong di-imagine okay and depende po sa inyong paper sa space so this is how it's written okay however kung i-partner na ito si Giyok o a vertical vowel mo bend ni siya. So, it will bend mo bow siya. Okay? So, this is how it's written now. So, mo bend na mo plus. Okay? And kani siya plus din kaya na ito palabanan ng taas ang iyahang line kanina sa Amorang branch. Okay? I call it like the branch. So, dili kayo na nato pa labanan o taas. Okay? So, if we are going to write it, of course, Okay. So, this is now your giok. If giok is partnered with a um, vertical vowel. So, pag vertical vowel, mo bend siya. Pag horizontal vowel, the same. Okay, so now let's try to take a look at the vertical, uh, no, horizontal vowel, pero naghangad ng horizontal vowel. So, ako si Aries, so then later on, makita na po ninyo in a systematic manner. So, we have here, this example earlier. Okay, so as I told you, kanisha, um, of course, here is horizontal vowel, vertical vowel, and then another horizontal vowel, pero ang iyahang um, or a branch na gamay, dapat gamay na gito siya. I'm sorry pag murang taas ko, pero gamay na lang siya. So, ito ang... So, ang mahita mo class is hindi mo tanyo na siya ang pagsuma. Okay. And then this one, as I told you, mo bend siya. So, dapat mo bend di siya. Di bend naman. Okay, bend. And then, our vertical towel. And this one, the same thing. Okay? No, no need to bend. Pero, ang kanilihang branch na gamay, dapat arena siya mo soon. Okay? Okay. Dapat tingon-aniyon siya pang suwat, ha? So, we have here, uh, Gio, partnered with different types of vowels, horizontal vowel, 
vertical vowel. So, pag horizontal vowel, so you're going to write it this way. Pag nag, wala naghangad horizontal vowel, kung hindi ali siya, you write it this way. And if it is um, vertical vowel, it should bend. O dapat mo bend siya. And also, this one, if naghangad ang imuhang um, horizontal vowel, you have to write it this way. Okay? Now, it's not only gyo nga mo bend or have this principle or have these rules when writing. Even kyo, kyo, you also have to do the same. Okay? So, you have to add it with this one. So, the same principle. Okay? The same principle, everyone. partner ni mo, ay yung mga klase sa vowel. So, dagan pa kaisa ng klase ang uh, vertical vowel. Dili lang si A. So, you should know the principle behind kung unsaan siya. And also, not only giyok and kyuk, but also sanggiyok. Sanggiyok also follow the same principle. So, um, the sanggiyok, you know, it's double. Okay, double. So, the same principle for the double. If it is partnered with the following, okay. So we are going to have here. should write it. Um, this one is quite small, but nevertheless, um, the same principle, yun di silang tulo. So, always remember na kung i-partner ni sila o vertical vowel, mo-bend ni sila. Pero, pag horizontal vowel lang gani, di ni sila mo-bend. As is lang sila. Okay? And these are the example how you are going to write it. And, um, also, we have to be very careful in writing as much as possible, please, guys, make sure you write them in a straight manner. No, Ako, I would like to apologize and lead you guys straight because um, somehow I have this kind of dilite ko control if it's the white board marker that I am using. It's like put a white board, and like if it's a paper, so um, it would be easier. So easier, yes, yeah, is the one. But this is the these are the principles behind these three consonants when you write them and when you partner them with horizontal or vertical vowel. So this is the first um, mistake or common error that I noticed. Okay? So at this point, what is the second um, common mistake that like almost all of us committed when we write Korean characters? So, of course, uh, we have to remember that when you write 
um, let me erase this. You have to remember that when you write that shield, okay, ako na notice class na ini magsuot mo og shield. Shield is the, the sound for shield, it's S. Okay, the equivalent sound of that one. So, this one, right? Okay, it is uh, writing shield, it's composed of bilang ka stroke. It is composed of um, two stroke. Okay, so two stroke. But ang tendency, the way you are writing it, yung anigo ninyo ay, okay? Why is this like this? This is wrong, no? Though I know na siguro kung makita mo ang mga um, different font styles, ato makita nga, for example, I, I see, I've seen it in title of K-drama, no, na ang um, pagsuwan sa title, sa siya, di nun ani siya pagsuwan. Well, we are still beginners, so we have to follow the standard, huh? So we are not going to follow this way, but rather we are going to write it this way for the shia. It's composed of two um, strokes. So we have here, and then this is the first one, and this is the second one, okay? So you have to make sure you follow it this way. And also, when you combine the shia with a vertical manual, so for example, this one, so that's how you're going to write it, okay? But again, uh, since that kumpa na to ang characters, pero uh, usually class, of course, gamay yun lang yun din na to kayo. Di kayo din na to ako on si Shiyot when we write it on paper. And also, um, we have to remember that our vowel should be kanishal, uh, gamay, bubo na sa disha. And this one, ako din ko, ano ito ba yun? like that. Okay? But I am just showing you here how to write shield. So two strokes like that. Mm. This one is correct for Korean way. This is correct. So circle up a bit While when you are going to write it this way, this is X. Okay, so follow this way. This is recommended. Why? Because we are still beginners, so we have to follow the standard way of writing or once a may angay na buhaton as beginners. So we have to follow. Kay perhaps if na nasiguro to sa level ng pang advance, no? but still this one is standard. So we have to make sure that we follow what is recommended, what is prescribed. Okay. All right. So this is our second. The second is when you write the shield, make sure that you're going to write it that way, as I mentioned earlier. Not the other way, no more diacritical mark na sa ato ang gamakita na to sa atong dictionary. Alright, so next.